For weeks, this show has been covering the tension in women's swimming. The sport is now dominated by Leah Thomas, a transgender swimmer from the University of Pennsylvania. Thomas is a biological male and has been breaking record after record. No surprise. Thomas's advantage is so obvious. The editor-in-chief of a top swimming magazine compared it to doping. Parents, swimmers, fans, even teammates are enraged, and so is my next guest. Joining me now is Cynthia Millen. She's a former national USA swimming official. Cindy, I, I, I say former because you just left this sport days ago. Why did you quit? Raymond, bodies swim against bodies. Gender identities don't swim. Leah is a man who is swimming against women. And there's nothing against, there's no problem with Leah to swim, but Leah should swim against Leah and not against women. Men swim 8 to 12 percent faster than women. Men have larger lung capacity, skeleton, circulatory mm. system, heart, and nothing that Leah did by taking a year off to take testosterone suppression drugs, that does not change Leah's body. So every time Leah mm. jumps into the pool, it's a man who is competing against women. This is grossly unfair. His records are now approaching that of Katie Ledecky, Missy Franklin. He's going to be wiping out women's Olympic records, and it's not right for women swimmers, and it's certainly horrible for little girls who are in the sport. They don't matter. Mm. Here's what Leah Thomas thinks of the current NCAA guidelines. Listen to this. I think the guidelines they set forward are very good and do a very good job of promoting inclusivity while keeping um, competitional integrity um, going. Uh, Cindy, does this preserve, or Cynthia rather, does this preserve uh, a, a co competitive integrity? No, no, absolutely not. It's placing women who can never compete with a man at a gross disadvantage mm -hmm. by basically putting this, calling this person a female competitor. He's not. It's his body that will always be different and always be faster as a competitive swimmer. And it's this great illusion that somehow because he feels he's a female, that he can be a female swimmer. This is grossly unfair to all the women who have worked so hard. Women biologically will never be faster than men. Now, Katie Ledecky's faster than a lot of guys, but there are guys right. who will beat her. And it's just yeah. biology. And again, bodies swim against bodies. Right. Well, Cynthia, thank you so much for being here, uh, for leaving the sport over this, and most of all, for educating us about this. I, I hope the league takes notice and makes some adjustments here. Yeah. Thank